Now let us see the sequence transformation uh, a scenario question to load alternate records from the table. So simple thing what I am doing is taking EMP table uh, using the sequence uh, transformation plus filtering the transformation uh, when it reaches to the second record um, uh, and resetting the sequence. So unloading into the target table uh, EMP sequence. Okay, let us jump quickly to see that in the SQL developer first. Okay, so if you go back to SQL developer, I have the script. I'm creating a sequence now. Okay, so then I'm sorry dropping that sequence and creating it and I'm here I'm using a private session table which is available from Oracle 18C okay so I'm uh, creating the table okay the table got created now if you see here I'm just trying to filter that if you see uh, uh, <clears throat> yeah so every second record the second record see uh, I'm trying to filter it with the SQL ID filter condition so if you see that this is the modulus function I am using the remainder will become zero when it reaches to that and similarly the same uh, setup we are going to create a mapping uh, in a informatica okay uh, so that when it reaches to uh, the end value second we are going to reset the cycle and starting the number from one okay let us go there create a new mapping okay okay and we will use the source table as EMP as usual okay now <coughs> now let's call the sequence here and go to the advance and disable incoming fields now from the sequence settings as I told we have to arrange the settings here so now the end value is going to be 2 and initial value will be 1 and cycle you are going to cycle it because when it reaches the end value you are going to cycle it and the start value should be 1 again and make sure that it is resetting so these all settings we have to be carefully updated okay so that it will reset when it reaches to 2 and make the initial value again 1 and it will cycle back to 1 that is the thing and you have to mention the cycle value as well start value and ensure that reset is enabled okay now all this thing is done the next thing we have to introduce the filter condition because we have to filter out the other records only we need the alternate records correct so simply pass on that and will disable here source to target straight away and pass that result to filter here okay in the filter condition okay so now if you want uh, you, you can create a new rule and uh, because why because the curve value we, we don't need it uh, we'll remove that curve value only we need next value and based on next value we are going to filter the condition so because the next value is going to reset every second occurrence okay so that's it okay so now let's save this one go to the uh, map the target and target table will let's create a new one here select the sequence table so now we are good or oh, we'll go to the field mapping and do the auto mapping here that's it okay so this next value in this case is not required oh, okay. save it okay so that's it now let's try to and this mapping so 
so let's go and see the job we should see the alternate records uh, like we saw in the private temporary table that is seven records supposed to load in so seven records have been successfully loaded it read uh, from the source 14 and loaded alternative seven records okay let us double check the same thing is happened correctly or not so that's it print so we can we can see all these alternate records okay Thank you friends for watching my video, please subscribe my channel.